For the past 10 years, Vision Mission has been responsible for giving the gift of clear sight to thousands of underprivileged school children across the country. This has been done through screenings, eye tests and the donation of thousands of pairs of spectacles. The Open Eyes campaign was launched to highlight and raise awareness for Vision Mission's new focus. The plight of thousands of needy South Africans who require a corneal transplant but who do not have the financial means. Sir Kinniko recently ran a campaign asking South Africans to vote between their three favourite movies for his first movie experience. Now to tell us more about his journey, we are joined in studio by Pilani Twala and uh, Geraldine Engelman, manager of Stir Kinniko Theatres. Very good morning to you. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Yeah. Pilani, if I can just start with you. I mean, this is an absolutely, must be amazing feeling. Can you just um, ca uh, describe the feeling of being able to see again? Yes, I feel like I'm over the moon because Without seeing, it's rough out there, you know, but uh, I'm so happy. And, and what are your thoughts, your, your first thoughts when you heard that you could be receiving this operation and you could have the chance to see again? Uh, it was to, to continue with studying at school, you know, mm -hmm. and continue with studying until I, I would get a job, or, yeah, to be with friends to tell everybody, to see everyone around me. Yeah. And if Geraldine, if I can come to you, um, tell us about this, this campaign that you, this Open Eyes campaign that you decided to get involved with. Why did you decide to do this? Well, Vision Mission is the CSI flagship program of State Clinical Theatres. Mm -hmm. We started about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And as part of our 10th anniversary, we felt that perhaps we should look a little more deeper within the, you know, um, degenerating eyesight and look at other ways of assisting, um, you know, learners or children out there who obviously is not in the means to afford it. And so when the Open Eyes project started, it was really about corneal transplants. Mm. And it was f for us, you know, an awareness as well. So we need to talk yeah. to people about corneal transplants. We need to talk to people about taking care of their eyes. Um, and South Africa has been great just in terms of assisting us with that. Now, you said this, is, this campaign has been running for 10 years already. What are your goals and what do you plan on um, adding to this campaign in the near future? Well, we have probably screened over 300,000 children over the last 10 wow. years. And, you know, being able to provide spectacles to about 12,000 of those particular children was really great for us. That is, yes. And obviously this campaign means that, you know, with the assistance of South Africans providing mm -hmm. us some, you know, assistance through our self-service terminals, because that's how we collect the money, it would be great to be able to provide more corneal transplants um, with young people, um, you know, as such as Pilani. So the, the focus is awareness. We really want to talk to people about it and mm -hmm. use our cinemas as part of that awareness campaign. But also, you know, in, in a way, provide provide, um, you know, the corneal transplants as such. Well, it's a lot of great work that you are doing, especially with all the school children that are in desperate need of, of certain um, spectacles and operations. But Pilani, the public was involved in choosing the movie for you to watch. Um, can you tell us about that and which movie did they end up choosing for you? Uh, they have chosen Avatar for me. Avatar? Yes. And, and did you enjoy it? Yes, a lot, because uh, when I saw when I was in the cinema for the first time, mm -hmm. uh, I was so excited and I was watching the movie in 3D. So, yeah, <laughs> I enjoyed the movie. And was that actually your first movie cinema experience? Uh, yes, in cinema. It was my first movie. And now are you just going to become a, a movie-holic? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. And now also, if you can just take us back a little bit, um, can you take us through your journey of, of losing your sight and what that, when, when did you first realize that something might not be quite right? Yeah, I was seven at school. So, uh, sometimes when I was waking up one day, I woke up and my eyes were not that clear. So, I think there was a cloud inside my eye. Then, but they put me a medicine there. I keep on using the medicine, using the medicine and going to school. One day, I was at school and it was after school day. So my pen fell down. Mm -hmm. When I was picking up the pen, the lady, well, I was behind the lady, so mm -hmm. she was spinning, holding a ruler, and then she put me in the eye. So 
the eye just become blind there. Oh. Then I go to home and I go to the hospital. My mother and his boss Linda go to the chemist mm. and they told me about to buy medicine there. Yeah. So how long has it been since you haven't been able to see so clearly? It's been a long time. Yes. Yes. Now that you can see though and you're back at school, what are your future plans? Uh, I is to is to live a life, you know, but I have to continue with school because I wanna do sound engineering. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I thank you so much for joining us today. It's lovely to hear your experience and lovely to hear the, the good news that this campaign is doing. And I'm sure that we will be hearing more of these very good news stories from you. Yes, definitely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.